Hi everyone, this is Tanner from Smart Fantasy Baseball. I just want to take a few minutes here to break apart the Smart Fantasy Baseball Projecting X bundle, what's all included in that, what you can expect, and maybe show you what's inside, answer any questions you might have. Once you uh, purchase the product, it will come to you in a zip format. You'll get emailed a link to download it, and I think you're also taken to a web page where you can download it immediately comes to you in a zip file and inside that zip file are three different components so you'll have to unzip this or depending on what's on your computer it might be relatively easy to get into. Um, but the main component in that is Mike Podhorzer's book Projecting X. If you're interested in looking a little bit more at that, seeing what others had to say about it, you can go to his website at projectingx.com. You can get a sneak preview of it by clicking on the book. I think he gives you uh, the first page of four chapters or something like that. And there's also some pretty well-respected names that have reviewed the book. Keep in mind that if you're not interested in the bundle, you can always just buy his book at uh, his website directly for $9.99. I want to make sure that's clear, that that's an option for you. And um, the next piece in the bundle is uh, my book, I guess it go and goes coincides with his. It's Projecting X Approach and Tips. This is not um, technical or it's not necessarily going to shed a lot of light on how to do projections. It, this angle that I'm bringing is more or less how you can more quickly go through Mike's approach using Excel and a couple of tips and things that I share with you. So this isn't you know an exhaustive book. It's I think it's about 15 pages. A couple of formula tweaks that I might recommend and then basically how to use the Excel file, how to get the information you need to do the projections a little more quickly, and uh, how to add players to the spreadsheet if you find yourself needing to do that. And then I'll quickly open up the spreadsheet that you're going to get here. So there's quite a few tabs in here. One of the main things that you've got to do when you're going through the projections is you have to go gather information. And Fangraphs is a really good site to get the information that you need. So rather than manually having to go to Fangraphs and search for a player, um, something like this, when I think one of the great features of the Excel file is that every player's name in here is a clickable link. So you click on their name, boom, you're brought on over to their page, and you can really easily get to that information that you need there. Another thing that you have to do is you have to calculate some manual averages. And this tab of the spreadsheet that I put in here helps you do that much more quickly. Um, these measures that are in here will make a lot more sense to you once you read Projecting X. It's basically calculating things quickly for you that you'd otherwise have to do with a little bit more of a manual process. And then finally, this really has nothing to do with Mike's book, but I figure I might as well wrap the spreadsheet with my rankings. So essentially, as soon as you start filling out projections, if I give Mike Trout 45 home runs, the rankings will start to take place here. And they're going to look a little funky right now until you get some of the more um, meat of things in here. But um, let's see if we can even find Trout in here. So his 45 home runs instantly make him the top ranked player. And that's kind of the one of the main benefits that I really think uh, is goes with this spreadsheet that as soon as you start entering these projections or tweaking things, you get instantly updated rankings. And uh, I think that it's going to be very valuable when you get into your draft preparation, in-season moves, evaluating things, just to have all this all linked together off of these projections. So thanks. Stay smart.